Hi guys, I want to show you real quick unboxing, short review, battery replacement and disassembly of this hybrid smartwatch Lenovo 9. This video is sponsored by online electronic store Gearbest, so you can go and check it out. This watch costs about 20 bucks with free worldwide shipping, the link in description below. Feels heavy, like a decent device, so let's open it up. Very useful Chinese manual, smartwatch, any gifts, as always. Let's remove all these protective films. Looks nice and shiny. So, this is how Lenovo 9 looks on my wrist compared to my Casio watch. I like big watches, but it's just my personal preference. This hybrid smartwatch gives you a traditional analog watch face. There's no any fancy stuff like LCD or touch sensor. It's a three-hand watch with one button, a tiny orange LED indicator, Bluetooth 5, some smart functions, and is powered by one non-rechargeable CR2032 battery. It's not bad build quality, it's waterproof metal case, I think it's aluminum, sapphire glass and 22mm silicone strap. The hands are highly visible and glow in the dark. Alright, so to get the most out of your watch, even to set the correct time, you have to install Lenovo Watch application, which is available on Google Play and App Store. To pair your smartwatch, simply follow all these steps. Now shake your watch or press the side button. If for some reason your phone can't find the smartwatch, then press and hold the side button for 6 seconds, to restore the watch to its factory settings. This watch automatically synchronizes its time with the connected phone, but first we have to calibrate its hands. Simply enter the time that froze on your watch, don't enter the real current time. Ok, and there's not much you can do here. It has a very functional and accurate pedometer to track your fitness goals and sleep tracking function which can show the quality of your sleep. Here you can check the battery level and update your watch's firmware. In watch mode you can turn on power saving mode or completely disable all smart features of your watch. Long press on the side button will deactivate these options. You can also use remote shutter function. Double press the side button to find your smartphone. You can set multiple alarms, but you have to leave your watch on your wrist because it doesn't make any sounds, only vibration. And the last function is a heart rate test. Just place your finger over the camera sensor and LED flash. This function has nothing to do with your smartwatch itself, because there is no heart rate sensor in this model. And last but not least, I want to show you how to replace the battery yourself, because you'll be replacing batteries on a regular basis, like every 8 months or so. You'll need a small knife or a thin flat screwdriver. As you can see, this area looks slightly different. There is a gap where you can place your knife. Once the blade is in place, use it like a lever to pop the back open. Ok, let's see what we've got inside. There is a tiny button to hard reset the watch in case the side button doesn't help. As you can see, this watch movement actually has three buttons. Not sure if these two buttons have any functions, I think the same movement is used in different watch models. So, let's finally replace the battery. As you can see, it's a very simple process. Make sure that this notch is aligned above the watch button, and press down on the watch back until it snaps back into place. 